It's four, four o'clock and it's Sunday. So you know what's happening. All right, I am here with a brand spanking new Falcon player. Who could it possibly be? Nevin! <laughs> Woo! The whole audience is going crazy. You can't hear it because their mics are just, but they are like excited because it's Nevin. That's a hard one to pronounce. How do you pronounce your last it's name? Nevin Brown. 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 Yeah. yeah. That's a tough one for me. All right. No. Yes, it's Nevin Brown. And he's new to the Falcon players. And I just got him this year. And he is awesome. I am a big fan of the Nev. All right. So um, let's see. You are in, now you're in high school? No. No. Uh, sixth grade. Yes. Yes. And I remember, yeah, it says uh, you started going to Rockwood School District in third grade? No. That's what you put. Maybe it was. I don't know. <laughs> I think what? it was fourth, though. Oh, okay. Fourth grade. Okay. So maybe you moved after third grade or something. I did. Maybe so. Awesome. All right. So um, what was that like? It's hard to transition from a school. It very much is. It very much is. But now it's a big deal now. Like, you're, like, a part of... Rockwood, man. You're like, you're totally. Where did you go before? I went to Valley Park. Oh, so real close. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't that far. Cool. Um, all right. Favorite subjects. I shouldn't. Got it out of the girls' bathroom. <laughs> I wouldn't drink that. No, <laughs> why did you get it out of the. I, yeah, I really. I, 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 I cool looking mugs, that. though, right? Isn't that awesome? Squawk Talk at that one website. What is it, guys? All right, so they brought us toilet water. Um, no, I know it's not toilet water. How do we know that? All right, this is supposed to be Nevin's episode. Gosh, divas, right? You know what I'm saying? Woo! All right, so um, your favorite subjects. This is cool because not everybody chooses these. Reading and math? That's awesome. All right, so why do you like reading and math? Because I like the teachers. That that can make any subject better, right? Yep. Um, one, I, I don't know that I was or wasn't into history when I was a kid, but in college, I got a professor, and the place was always dead silent because he just told stories. Boring. Like, uh, no, it was all, but he was great at it. Like, you were always like, well, what happened? <laughs> you got to be kidding. They love to hit the thing. Oh, my gosh. I, you, you got just leave it. Just leave. Just leave it. Yeah, Adrian. Gosh, you're killing me, Smalls. Today's the day that we just bash the uh, the uh, <laughs> camera the whole time. All right. So um, no, that's cool. But yeah, no, the, he was a really good storyteller. So we enjoyed it. I mean, it was always you could hear a pin drop in there because it everybody wow. was just. I don't. Know, it was a class I always made because I didn't want to miss what I've happened. I've never liked history. Wait till you get a teacher like that. In <laughs> fact, so quick little side note, uh, a really good friend of mine, uh, my best friend, that's not me. Oh my gosh, this is so messed up. Um, my uh, best friend, ever since I was in kindergarten, uh, I became a teacher and I called him up and said, dude, I became a teacher. And he was like, it's about time. And then he was talking to me one time and he knows history so well. If I need to know a question about history, I just call him up. And I said, dude, he was telling me something, and it was like story again. It wasn't like <laughs> listening to, this happened and then this happened. And it was so awesome. I was like, you need to be a, you should be a history professor. And he called me three months later and says, I'm solving my business. I'm going to go become a history professor. And now you know what he is? A history professor. He's a history professor. What a giant segue, just because you never liked history, but you like reading and math. Least favorite subject. It's the same reason. History Not a science. fan of science. No. Yep, does not enjoying the science. Sorry to hear about that. Uh, uh, um, oh, okay. And then I'm gonna we'll get to get, get to your stories later because right now we're gonna jump to our next segment. So this this first segment was the scoop about Nev. Now we're going to spill. Let's see what he's got here. He he provided some photos, which I believe start right here. What do we have here? Me and my dog. Oh my gosh, I did it wrong again. You and your dog. Yep. Well, it's adorable. Okay. So you're a pretty big guy, so that's why you have a giant dog. Uh, she's not giant at all. <laughs> not giant at all. That is a tiny dog. Now is he a yippy dog? Does he yip at everybody? 
No, he is a chihuahua. A chihuahua. But he doesn't, yip, 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 yip. Mm, not that yip. much. Not that much. Good. Because that's the only thing that annoys me about a dog that won't, you know, ever stop barking. <laughs> but it looks adorable. That is a cute dog. What's your dog's name? Kilo. Kilo? Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. Now, how old were you in this picture? I was like six or seven. Six or seven. That's an awesome picture. Now, how old's your dog now? Um, Older. He's four or three. Four or three? Mm -hmm. Cool. So this was when it was a puppy. Yes. Awesome. Okay, next picture. What do you got here? That's me and my little sister. Oh, and how old's your sister? She is three. Three. She's three right now? Mm hmm And she's almost four. Awesome. So I won't get her for a while. No. No, not for a long while. And wait, and you have another sibling now? I do. I have many, many siblings. Oh, t bring it on. Let's hear about the siblings. <laughs> so I have one that is named Kayla. She goes to the school, but she's boring and doesn't do theater. <laughs> and then I have another sister named Callie. Uh -huh. She lives somewhere else, though, with a different mom. Gotcha. And I have another one named Kinsey. She also lives with Callie at another place. And then I have one named Molly. And she Ooh. lives with me, and she's amazing. Awesome. And she's the amazing one. Yes. Awesome. Very cool. That's awesome. It's awesome when you get along with your siblings. Well, that's a cute picture. Thank you. Awesome. All right, so let's see. What do you have next? It's just me because I you told me to get photos of me. Right. <laughs> that's that's great. Now, when was this? This is more recent. You... Was it the last summer or was it the summer before? I don't know. I took it. I don't know. I just it's took it. <laughs> cool. Well, it's a cool picture, too. Awesome. I like the shades. Thanks. Do you wear glasses a lot? I mean, sunglasses. Mm hmm So look awesomely cool. Yep. 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 <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. So next, we have to... Spin. All right. So okay. each episode of Squawk Talk, we spin to see... Which activity we will do? Give it a spin. To do anything. It could be anything. Doubles. And you get... Oh, hippos! It was this close to Tenzi's, guys. What's hippos? This close. Hungry, hungry hippos! Oh! It's the name of the game. It's That's called what... hungry hippos, not hippos. Well, I could only fit that on there, or it looks dumb on the center. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're doing hungry, hungry hippos. You're gonna probably All right, let's do it. All right. Whoa! Okay. Why are you throwing things at him? I know. Rude, right? Who did All right. that? I'm just gonna dump him in and we gotta go to town. Which, which colors you want? I'll be blue. All right, blue. You can be two. Oh, okay. Uh, These two? No. These two? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Give me the dumb colors, thanks. Yep. All right, here we go. Ready? Ready? No. We're gonna start as soon as I dump him. Okay. And go! They won't dump. Go. Somebody blocked this view, twice. Which is crazy with a strategy game like this. Oh God. Oh God. I think you destroyed me. The oh blue God. one went to town. Oh God, give me that, okay. All right, you're right-handed, right? I'm both. You're ambidextrous? Pretty much. I didn't know this about it's it either. It's just hard but to look, with this hand. But look how many more you got in your right hand. <laughs> you got more than anything. And you got the orange one, which is a super massive winner. Hooray for Hungry Hippos. All right, here, take it away. Always. I have a great crew here, by the way. <laughs> All right, um, coming up stuff. next. I'm sorry about the uh, screen here, Nevin. We're all like out of weirdness. Gotta get the pillow. There you go. Gotta get it. I'm gonna I'm move you in. Home. There we go. We're gonna <laughs> fix you there. Okay, I don't think I can fix me. <laughs> Who could ever fix me? Okay, so oh. let's see. Our last thing here, uh, these are things that you enjoy, um, I believe. Oh, wait, your favorite teacher when you were in elementary school? What was um, that? Let's see. I had a lot, but from my bowls, I'm going to have to go with what Adriana said. I'm going to go with Miss DeWitt. She helped me out, and she always would make you laugh awesome. and tell yeah. jokes. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, if they can make you laugh and you connect with them and they help you, what else do you want, right? I'm none of those things, by the way. I'm just, you know, <laughs> I mean, I don't help. You're not mean. I, I uh, help. <laughs> let's see. Your favorite activity of all time is? Not, maybe not of all time. Um, 
because it says because of playing with my stepsister and having a great time. Yeah, okay, that's fair. What activity? Do I don't know. know. Soccer. Sure, soccer. I love soccer. So, awesome. So, what position do you play when you play soccer? Um, either I just kick. We just kick the ball. Just kick the ball. <laughs> that is awesome. All right. Or goalie. And Sometimes. your second favorite activity? Um, I'm gonna have to go with I don't know what I broke. Doesn't but matter what you I'll got. say second favorite. Playing video games and calling my friends. I think that that's almost exactly it. Xbox with your friends. Yep. But hanging out with your friends, calling your friends. Anything with friends makes it better, right? Yep. You know? Awesome. And let's see. Uh, pet peeve. <laughs> I'm not going to list all this exactly this way, but the thing you don't have a pet peeve with in your family is your mom. Yep. No pet peeve. Nope. Other people, you may possibly have pet peeves. Yep. All right. That, we'll, just, <laughs> we'll leave it right there. All right. And your favorite movie genre? Uh, I think I put comedy and horror. Uh, yeah, and you only put comedy, but comedy and horror. Now, I've, I've been on a kick to watch, like, 80s horror, where they're kind of terrible. They're kind of good and kind of terrible at the same time. No, just no. Just no? Just no. You don't no. like terrible horror? You like legit horror? Yes. I like the terrible horror. I, I love it. All right. Um, all right. So if you were going to have, uh, if they were making a movie of Nevin, who would play you? I have no clue. Oh, you put you you put main role, but I'm not, so I'm not sure what that means. Does that mean you're in the main role? Sure, I'll be the main role. There you go. You'll play, you'll play the, the hero in your own life. I like it. And if you had one more hour in the day, what would you do with it? Either sleep. I'd sleep. Sleep, then that's what you put, sleep. I, it sounded like you were going to add something I love something sleeping. Else. Oh, so, uh, yeah, who doesn't, right? <laughs> who? All right. So what was your dream as a kid to become when you grew up? A teacher. And what you, what's your dream now? A teacher. Awesome. So what subject are you going to teach? Second grade. Oh, so that, that, yeah, in second, elementary, you have to teach yeah. everything. Very cool. That's a good age. Um, and the reason I teach this is I had the worst time in middle school, and I don't want anybody to have a terrible time. So I'm like, I know. Middle schools are mean. And they can be, yeah. Especially, yeah, seventh grade, I think, is pretty brutal. Um, <laughs> but it's different for everybody, you know. Some people may have a bad, yeah. Um, that's your now dream. And what if you could go anywhere? If you could be in any fictional place, where would you go? You had no answer, but I'm just curious. Hmm. Tough one. Tough one. What do you think? A Christmas movie, because I love Christmas. Movies. Just did a Christmas. Movie? Awesome. I could toss you some old. If you like old movies at all, which I think sometimes the stories are better. Nah. Oh, there's like a really movies. good one. There's a really good old. Anyway, uh, um, and <laughs> your warning label would say what? Oh shoot! Um, if there was a Nevin warning label, you're you you brought it up with somebody in your life. You have six of them. Sisters? Yes. You put down warning. I have six sisters, and they're crazy. They are very they're crazy <laughs> and annoying sometimes. Tell us something about how they're crazy or, or how they're annoying. They're just annoying. They may watch this. Don't forget. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> this is facts about you guys. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> so they can either just run around or break your back or your bones because they're very evil and very mean and loves to say things over and over again and just loves to be annoying. Ah, oh, right, <clears throat> sisters. They're the worst. All right, um... Favorite candies? Reese's. Yes, me too. Now, Reese's Pieces or Reese's Peanut Butter Cups? Reese's be Peanut Butter Cups. But I like Reese's pe Pieces no. too. Don't Disgusting. like them? Oh, I like them. But, but Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, obviously. Oh, more. Yeah. Sour Patch Kids and Skittles also? Because mm -hmm. we just had her Adriana on the show last Sunday, and she does not like Skittles. But I don't like Skittles either. So. There's nothing wrong with them. <laughs> nothing wrong with them at all! And you like, okay, and this is a surprise for, I think people might be surprised about some of these. But we're going to zap through some of these. This is the survey here, the end, and then I'm going to ask you some questions about yourself to wrap it up. Okay. All right, answer these quick. Do you like roller coasters? Yes. Horror? Yes. Pickles? Yes. Yes, you love pickles. I do. Which, how many people in our studio audience like pickles? I love pickles! Those things are That's nasty. Awesome. Shut up! No! No! All right, there's a brawl. There's a brawl going on in the audience They're crazy. Right now, but we like pickles. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love pickles. They're so good.
All right, and let's see. Uh, reading. Not so much. Not so much. Running. No. Summer. Yes. Winter. Yes. Uh, shopping. Yes. Coffee. Yes. Video games. Yes. They're very, you just like everything. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, oh, how about this question? Well, you put sports, and you said you love that too, but are you an extrovert or an introvert? And you put both. Yeah. Yeah, you like being outgoing, but sometimes you're... Most of the time, I'm not outgoing. Just chilling. Right, yeah. exactly. Cool. And a lot of actors are that way. A lot of actors are introverts. Interesting. Um, and you think the opposite. And sometimes they are too, but <laughs> a lot of times. All right. Um, I'm going to jump to your stories real quick and we're going to wrap it up here all right let's hear oh we haven't even talked about five players i don't know how i missed it all right your experience which i know it's been a shorter experience so far with the five players what do you think about being a five player i love it what do you love about it the teacher obviously Aww. <laughs> and just meeting new people trying your best and getting out there and doing what you want yeah cool and i'm excited for you to experience being in the play it's just it's awesome. And then all that work you've done and all the friends you've made, you do it together. So yeah. like you said, doing stuff with friends is awesome. Okay, here's a story. Um, story number one has to do with someone in our studio audience today. BFF since fourth grade. Mina. Yep. You How, how'd you guys meet? What makes that an awesome friendship? So I was, Yay. I met her whenever Drop I- Drop down in there. First, there, there she is. <laughs> I met her whenever I first moved the bowls and then we kind of, started being friends uh -huh. and then in fifth grade it got our friendship came even closer than we used to be and then now we are even closer than ever <laughs> that is awesome so maybe you'll have to be maybe maybe he'll have to be in the studio audience when mina's on there because you're on in a few weeks right yes she is wish i had time to do everybody but okay <laughs> thank you for joining in there mina and um another story uh Katie Grass. Yes, but, but. What about her? What about you? Just a story. She's just, my just, friend. She's just awesome, too. Yeah. Two awesome friends. That's so cool. And when, how long have you known her? Uh, this year. Just this year? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Just met her. So not the history you have of Mina. No. But, yeah, friends. That's awesome. Cool. Well, that, that's it. That's all we need to know uh, about. I mean, we need to know so much more about Nevin. But we just don't have time. <laughs> So thanks for joining us. It was You're awesome, welcome. dude. Boom. And we'll catch you next time on Squad.